Hello everyone! Elon Musk buys Manchester United, homemade piece for Mbappe and Neymar, while Barca's dream of returning Messi is getting closer and closer. Dear friends, make sure to drop a thumbs up and subscribe to the most informative channel on Football YouTube. In the comments below, let us know if you expect Messi's return to Camp Nou in 2023. Alright then, let's get the show on the pitch! Bologna have announced the signing of club national defender Joaquin Sousa. The contract with the 20-year-old Uruguayan is valid for five years. The transfer fee is around 1.7 million euros. Leeds United's first choice goalkeeper, Elon Millier, has caught the attention of Manchester United. But the Peacocks don't want to let him go. Marseille confirmed the signing of Manchester City defender Isaac Abore. This is a season-long loan with a 20 million euros buyout option. Jason Denoyer is close to joining Valencia. Former Chelsea player Charles Musonda has signed for Levante. The contract runs until 2024, with an option to extend it for two more years. Roma are interested in Man United centre-back Victor Lindelof. The Giallarossi may sign him on loan with a buyout option. West Ham have signed German defender Thilo Kruger from Paris Saint-Germain. Roma have reached an agreement on a new sponsorship deal with Toyota. München Gladbach keeper Jan Sommer is on Man United's transfer target list to become their backup goalie. I'm aware of the ugly attitude I had. I'm here to learn from my mistakes, and it won't happen again," Darwin Nunez wrote on Twitter. Crystal Palace are negotiating with Watford on signing Ismail Lazar. Sassuolo striker Domenico Berardi has agreed to extend his stay with the net of Andy until the summer of 2027. Manchester United striker Cristiano Ronaldo has been cautioned by police after smashing an autistic boy's phone. Galatasaray are showing serious interest in Mauri Cardi, although his salary demands are too high for the Turkish club. Manchester United are considering signing 23-year-old Chelsea winger Christian Pulisic on loan. Arsenal winger Nicolas Pepe may join Liga 1 side Nice. The 27-year-old Ivorian doesn't mind leaving London. Moises Caicedo's agent has offered his client to Manchester United. The 20-year-old midfielder is playing for Brighton. Edinson Cavani is likely to join Valencia. It's reported that Cavani already had a conversation with Gennaro Gattuso. Brighton have announced the signing of Villarreal left-back Purvis Estupinian on a five-year deal for 17.8 million euros. PSG sporting advisor Luis Campos has hired a nutritionist who has already prohibited players from drinking Coca-Cola and iced tea. Sevilla have signed Bayern Munich defender Tengai Nianzu on a five-year deal for 20 million euros. Juventus midfielder Nicola Ravella may sign for Monza. The negotiations are underway. Why does the greatest player of all time have to wait two weeks to tell Manchester United fans the truth? Speak now! The club is in crisis and it needs its leaders. He is the only one who can grab the situation by the scruff of the neck. Gary Neville cries out on Twitter. Leicester City star Wesley Fafana has informed the club that he wants to play for Chelsea. The London side has already agreed with a French centre-back on the terms of his personal contract. Ajax winger Anthony won't go anywhere this summer. Manchester United refused to pay the requested £67 million. Tottenham midfielder Tengai Ndombele is likely to play at Napoli this new season. The parties are now finalizing the last details of the move. Andan Yanuzai has options to continue his career in the USA or Qatar. Sevilla striker Munir El Haddadi may join Hetafe. The 26-year-old Spaniard has also been linked with Trabzonspor. Atletico Madrid will not sell Alvaro Morata for less than 60 to 70 million euros. Sharha FC have announced the signing of Villarreal striker Paco Alcácer. Ampoli confirmed the signing of Parma midfielder Alberto Grassi on a year-long loan. Everton and Besiktas have an agreement in place over Deli Ali. Now it remains to wait for the player's decision. Barcelona won't sign Marcos Alonso until they officially register the transfer of French centre-back Gilles Condé from Sevilla. Crystal Palace defender Joachim Anderson said he has received death threats directed at him and his family after he provoked Darwin Nunez, leading to the red card. Former Real Madrid superstar Marcelo is close to retiring from football. 
Hayes currently a free agent, having offers from MLS and Qatar, which are not attractive enough to him. Let's have a look at the clashes that took place in the European competitions yesterday. And now, moving on to the top news. Sporting will attempt to sign Cristiano Ronaldo. The Lisbon club's sporting director, Hugo Viana, is doing his best to bring the Portuguese legend back to his homeland. Cristiano desperately wants to leave Manchester United to play the Champions League football this season, and Sporting is the club that can guarantee that. Barcelona are close to Memphis Depay's departure from Camp Nou. Right now, the only thing remaining is mutual consent between the Dutchman and the Catalan club. Juventus won't announce the signing of Depay this week, planning to get Memphis as a free agent, while Barca won at least 3 million euros. The Dutchman himself insists that he is willing to leave only as a free agent. As for Obama Young, Barcelona has an attractive offer from Chelsea, which is about 27 million euros. The Spanish side can accept this bid. Manchester United also linked with a 33-year-old Gabonese. Atletico Madrid have no intention to sell Joao Felix. It's also claimed that the Spanish club is not gonna sell their other striker Mateo Cunha for less than 50 million euros. Manchester United have made a request to the Madrid club for these two players. And each of the bets has been rejected, even though the Red Devils have offered 130 million euros for the 22-year-old Portuguese. Manchester City star Bernardo Silva has decided not to join Barcelona this summer. Earlier, it was reported that the citizens are asking for about 100 million euros for the Portuguese midfielder. However, despite a lot of rumors, Barca never made an official offer regarding the transfer. Meanwhile, the player himself decided to remain at Etihad focusing on a new season with City. CEO of Tesla and SpaceX, the world's richest person, Elon Musk, yesterday posted on Twitter that he is gonna buy Manchester United. But a little later he said that it was all part of a long-running joke. One of the users asked Elon to clarify this information and received the following response. No, this is a long-running joke on Twitter. I'm not buying any sports team. Musk answered. Man United are ready to make a 60 million euros bid to Real Madrid for Casemiro. Carlo Ancelotti wants to keep the Brazilian midfielder at Barnabéu, but the final word is on the player himself. Joining the Red Devils, Casemiro is guaranteed a crazy, really huge salary, which is one of the reasons he took some time to consider. This move would only occur if the 30-year-old wishes to force the move. Last week, the football media found out that there is a conflict between PSG's two focal points, Neymar and Mbappe. The Frenchman even asked the PSG board to sell the Brazilian winger. But later, the players managed to get along, and Sergio Ramos was the man to help these hotheads to resolve the conflict. It's noted that there is no misunderstanding between Mbappe and Neymar anymore. Both players admitted that they no longer held negativity toward each other. Liam Messi's comeback to Barca is getting more and more real. Relations between Barcelona and the Argentinians and Rush look even better now, and everything indicates that he could return to Barcelona in the summer of 2023 as a free agent. Paris Saint-Germain will try to impede the transfer and re-sign a new one-year deal with the Argentine, as Barca are already actively working on the return of their legend. Dear friends, Check out our new video and find out how Cristiano Ronaldo broke his promise for the sake of his son. Enjoy watching! It was Football News. You guys have a nice one and see you in a bit!